everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about a fascinating condition called tuberculosis. Tuberculosis um, is still a major problem in the developing world. However, due to the globalization of the world, we, stu we still do see cases of TB across the developed world and the fascinating features and ways in which it can manifest will be briefly discussed in this video. So please stay tuned. Firstly, I will talk about the eye features of tuberculosis. Patients can develop lumps and bumps on the white part of the eye, the conjunctiva. They can get swelling and inflammation on the blood vessels in the sclera, therefore scleritis. And patients can also develop anterior uveitis or iritis. The uveitis or iritis that develops with TB is very characteristic in its features and it tends to have granulomatous features including mutton fat KPs. Moreover, the back of the eye can also be affected with TB including posterior uveitis. This can manifest in several different forms including um, obstruction of blood flow in vessels leading to either ischemia, occlusion, you can get hemorrhaging, you can develop fluid at the macula and also the vitreous jelly can also become inflamed. In terms of the systemic features then of TB, they can vary from having a chest infection to meningitis if it infects the central nervous system, to joint pain if it affects the rheumatological system, to pericarditis if it affects the cardiovascular system. In those TB, several different approaches will be initiated, including a sputum analysis looking for acid fast bacilli, a chest x-ray initially, and then potentially a CT scan, and also a MAN2 TB spot test, and also a tuberculin skin test. Once a diagnosis of TB has been made, patients can be initiated on treatment. The hallmark of treatment is four agents which are rifampicid, isomyazide, pyrazidamine and ethambutol. Patients will be required to take these medications for up to six months and during that period patients will require, be required to have regular blood tests to ensure that for example their um, kidneys are not being adversely affected. They will also need to have regular eye assessments to ensure that their vision and optic nerve function including their visual fields are not being adversely affected by the medication. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about TB and how it can affect not only the body briefly but the eye also. Um, if you have liked this video please do as ever like, share, subscribe and please do comment. Um, as ever I kindly request your support in helping to grow this platform so please do kindly subscribe and share the video with family and friends. I have several other videos um, on my channel about several different eye problems. Please do also kindly watch those if you have the time. Also, please do um, feel free to comment and share potential um, video ideas about topics that you would like me to cover, which I will review and happily aim to produce for yourself. Take care, all the best.